One of the biggest mysteries of the 2020s TV shows for me is how Gilded Age has managed to become such an underrated series. It has all the preconditions of an ultimate hit show. It's an HBO series which is a huge plus. It is a period drama which is a popular genre in itself. Also, it particularly tells the story of the rich people, which has been very popular over the past couple of years as the Eat the Rich concept conquers media. So, why aren't more people talking about the Gilded Age? Well, I have no idea. All I know is that you guys are missing out. Thankfully though, despite its underwhelming popularity, Gilded Age managed to get a Season 3 approval from HBO and now, it is time to discuss what to expect from the show and reveal the release date. In the second season's conclusion, significant developments set the stage for new dynamics and conflicts within the storyline. So there are lots of topics that are waiting to be covered in Season 3. First of all, we will see a massive change in the power balance in the Van Ryan's house. After Agnes' son Oscar fell victim to a scam, her sister Ada inherited a substantial fortune. While this spared Agnes from relocation, it also introduced a power shift within the household. The change was felt immediately as the personnel started to address Ada rather than Agnes, which came as a shock to both of them. Knowing Agnes's ego, we can bet on her losing her mind over not being respected enough in the house. On the other hand, we can expect Ada to embrace her newly found power and be more confident than ever, which is a huge plus. I personally believe that this change will balance out the relationship between the two sisters, rather than making one superior to the other, which is great news. Another important storyline in Season 3 will be regarding Gladys Russell, who will gradually become a central character in the show. In Season 2, we saw her flirting with a young man named Billy Carlton. However, Bertha, Gladys' mother, appears to have promised her in marriage to the Duke of Buckingham. This sets the stage for a potential clash between Gladys' desires and her mother's ambitions, adding a layer of complexity to the Russell family's dynamics. We can expect Gladys to declare her freedom and independence in the next season. She might even leave the home instead of marrying a man who she does not love. And as you can already imagine, such a development would ruin the relationship between Bertha and George, as they both want the best for their daughter, but in different ways. But the Russell family member that will be at the center stage in Season 3 is none other than Larry. First of all, he is getting into a business with Jack the Footman over the clocks. The upcoming season is expected to delve into their collaboration and its impact on their respective careers. We will see if Larry will be as successful as his father in business. More important than that though, Marion and Larry's romance, teased since the show's pilot, takes a step forward as they share a kiss in the season 2 ending. Their evolving relationship from friends to potential partners will likely be explored further, potentially leading to marriage. Now, I know that some of you guys thought that their kiss was very much out of nowhere and ruined the gradual slow burn romance between the two. Well, I respectfully disagree. I feel like they were both into each other from the very beginning, but they were trapped into the friend zone. That kiss forced them to get out of the friend zone and see the romantic potential in their relationship. I can't wait to see them as a couple in season 3. More importantly though, I can't wait to see their family's reactions to this romance. Russells would be more than happy to have a Van Ryan as a daughter in love, that's for sure. But, I doubt Agnes would be happy with such a partnership. So drama is loading for the two young lovers. As far as Peggy is concerned, the new season will open a new page for her. Leaving her job at the New York Globe due to romantic feelings for her married boss, Peggy is set to continue working as Agnes' secretary while pursuing her aspirations as a novelist. On the one hand, I'm upset that she had to give up on her career as a journalist. On the other hand though, I feel like this will give her the opportunity to focus on her real dream of becoming an acclaimed author. Also, since she had two heartbreaks in the show so far, I think we can all agree on the fact that she deserves a lover who is worthy of her. Now, as far as the cast is concerned, we don't expect much change. But we just got the news that the Gilded Age might introduce characters from influential families like the Rockefellers and Vanderbilts, similar to how another period drama, Downton Abbey, incorporated certain real historical figures. There's also speculation about a young Court Levinson from Downton Abbey making an appearance, given the thematic similarities between the two series. Well, as a fan of both series, I can't wait to see young Cora in Gilded Age as I believe her English aesthetic would fit perfectly in New York society. Also, even though it was brief, people love to see Oscar Wilde's cameo in season 2. So it only makes sense to integrate other well-known fictional and real characters into the next season. Gilded Age season 2 is expected to be released in October 2023, meaning that we can expect the trailer to be released in September 2023. So there's still quite a time before we reunite with the show but I cannot wait for it already. But what do you think? Are you excited for Gilded Age Season 3? What are your expectations from the new season of the show? Let me know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video. Thank you for watching. See you soon.